Gwinnett County Library uh, serves almost a million people in suburban Atlanta. We have 15 locations. The library formed in 1996 after the dissolution of the Lake Lanier Regional Library System. And I like to think that we're one of the top libraries in the country. Very uh, proactive, forward thinking, always looking to embrace new technologies and new services for the community. During the economic downturn, we had to change our hours, uh, and we had what was called a buddy branch system. So half our branches were open one set of hours and the other uh, a different set. That was really difficult for our customers to come to terms with. One of the things I was tasked with was fixing that and looking for ways to expand access. We're big believers in access here at GCPL. We think that our collections and resources should be available to the public the maximum amount of time. So we learned about the Open Plus product that Biblioteca had had for a few years in Europe and we offered ourselves as a test site here in North America to implement the new system. It was just one of those things that when we heard about it, we knew that it was a match. We knew that it was something we wanted to do. And we didn't want to have to do some type of schedule. We were opening different times throughout the week, depending on the day or closing at different times. So we chose to open at eight, we chose to close at 10, no matter what time the library itself as staffed hours was there. Open Plus was going to start at 8, was going to close at 10. I think the biggest question we got from staff right out of the gate was, does that mean you're going to be reducing staff? Uh, and and the, the solid immediate answer to that was no. Uh, we weren't doing it in order to reduce staff. We were doing it in order to increase access to our community. If we had the money in order to staff the library from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., uh, we would do it. Uh, but we just don't and Open Plus gives us that ability to, to do it. It was very interesting when we first implemented because we were the first ones in North America They actually flew in a team from England who spent a week here setting everything up and getting it optimized and, and working properly. I mean, we have a very technically adept staff and a, a staff that's used to change and used to a lot of uh, new innovations and new products and, and being a test bed for different things. Uh, so I think that was key. You have to prepare your staff. There is a lot of change that's involved in implementing a solution, uh, but I I also think that the community here in Gwinnett is very accepting uh, of change. Uh, we have uh, our, our very regular customers who are there every morning. Uh, they're waiting for the door to open at 8 o'clock and they come in. We have people from all over the world. It's a very diverse community. And so I think those factors have combined together uh, to, to have a successful implementation here. And we're interested to see how it develops in Swanee versus how it is here in Lawrenceville. We have a very different community here in Lawrenceville. So uh, over time, we're going to study that carefully and see what the difference is between the, between the two branches that have the Open Plus solution. It's been great to work with the team at Biblioteca, and we're looking forward to further expanding the system in the future.